He must have had somebody following us all last weekend, just watching us creep. Did you see her face? I mean, how could he do that to her? How could he? She was going to find out anyway. Yes, I know, but not like that. Not like that. Oh, that was... It's his turn on that stand tomorrow. I promise you, they will rip him to pieces. I hope so. Look at him. I, I, I wish that I could stay. Oh, Peter, no, sorry, you've got to go. Go on, you need to find her. Go and find her. Okay. Go on, get it. Sure. Um, two pints of bitter and two white wines. Have you heard anything about the trial yet? Why is everybody asking me? Because she's your employer. It doesn't mean to say she tweets me all the time. No, the end's here. Ask her. Oh. Can I come through? Of course you can. Uh, how's the trial going? An another day. Hey. Oh, it's always happened. Maybe he's got off. What's happened? Peter's having an affair with Carla. Right, come on, sit down. Now, where's all this come from? Just found out at the court. Well, that'll be the lawyer just painting things that way, making, making photos. Go. What? Of him kissing? Outside a hotel. It's a right mess. So stupid. I knew it. I knew there was something going on, but I just turned a blind eye. He said he'd never touch her, he swore. And her, uh, pretending to be my mate. How could they do this to me, Mum? He's never deserved you, and neither does she. You know, I knew they were over each other. I knew it. The way he acted when she'd been raped. I told you. Do you remember? I said to you, I said there's something going on. I know. I should have listened to my instincts instead of letting him try to convince me. Frank was right. I went to see him in prison, and he said they were having an affair. So he'd caught him? No. No, but he knew how close they were, or the secrets they shared. What secrets? Well, you may as well know. It wasn't Frank who ran you over that night. It was Carla, drunk. And Peter knew all about it. Leanne? Yeah? Yeah, get that down, yeah. I think we both need one. So Peter knew it was Carla driving? Yeah. Oh. And instead of telling us, he kept it to himself. Didn't matter what she'd done, the cow. All he cared about was keeping her out of prison. I, I can't believe it. I even went round there to see her after the rape. I wanted to help. I wanted to let her know that she... Well, that she wasn't alone. And all the time, she sat there looking at me, knowing. Oh, yeah. She can put on a front, all right. Had me filled. Oh, it's so good to be friends again. <laughs> Do you know what? I even went wedding dress shopping with her. Oh, I've been such an idiot. Yeah, but you're not the only one. He had me filled and all. What do you mean? Well, Peter left these bags in Carl's cab. I had a peek. There was this necklace in there. Well, I assumed it was for you, and till I saw it round Carla's neck. Didn't you say that? Oh, yeah, I tackled him. He gave me some cock and bull story about how he bought you a necklace, and then when he saw Carla wearing it, he took it back and bought you a phone instead. A phone, yeah. That was Christmas. You know, he disappeared on Christmas Day. Said he couldn't bear to be around all the booze. He was with her, wasn't he? Even on Christmas Day, he couldn't stop himself from seeing her. I'm sorry. I really should have listened to him, but I, I suppose I wanted to believe it was true, like you. That's what you were getting at, wasn't it? When he was away last week, and I said I trusted him. You weren't talking about the drinking, were you? No. I wanted to tell you what I thought, but you just seem so happy. Yeah. Get one more film, me. 
How could he do this to me? How could he do this? Put the right card on then. Yeah, that's a heart. You can go on, you'll okay. go. Oh, hi. Right. Hi, Dad. Hey, pal. Uh, listen, you've you've not seen Leanne, have you? No. Why? Something happened. No, no. It's just uh, she left ahead of me, and I thought she might have popped in. That's all. She's probably at the flat. Is it time to go then? Actually, I was wondering if you if you could have him tonight. Yeah, yeah, of course. Have you fallen out? No, no. Of course we've not. Don't be daft. We uh, just need to sort a few things out. That's all. Right. I'm gonna dash. I'll pick you up tomorrow, OK? OK. Be a good boy for your granddad. Thank you. Right, go on, you'll go. That means he must have got off. Yes, but why was Leanne so upset? Carla, maybe. Well, they were mates. Carla, is, uh, is Leanne here? No. In, In the back. back. Can I get past, please? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I need to speak to her. Yeah, well, I don't think she wants to speak to you. Look, move, will you? This is my problem. And she's my wife. But you didn't think of that before. Just get out of the way, will you? Peter! Leanne? I'll deal with this. Watching you, mate. One wrong move and you're out that door on your back. All right, like I say, I just want to speak to her, OK? All right, folks. Show's over. I should have taken that necklace and rammed it right down your throat. Can I see her? No. Stella, this is not really your business. She's my daughter. Yeah, and don't we all know it? I bet you're loving this, aren't you? Having all to yourself at last. I wouldn't have wanted this in a million years. And before you start throwing accusations around, I know all about how Carla ran me down and you covered for her. So if I were you, I'd get out now. Before I call the police and have your bit on the side arrested. Oh, don't think I'm bluffing. There's nothing more I'd like than to see her locked up and you suffering. Leanne. You don't have to talk to him. No, it's all right. We need to talk. Are you sure? Yes, she's sure. You heard what she just said. Well, come on, then. Well, call me if you need me, all right? Yeah.